Hello, Bame Farm fans. I have acquired a rusty heap, but it's got fantastic tires, a six cylinder 301 Alice Chalmers engine, and uh, Rockwell axle parts that I can use on the unit system. Uh, glorious auction buy. Anyway, we gotta figure out how to get it home. It hasn't run in four years, and uh, well, I'm not going to try my luck on that just because it's been sitting. So get ready for all this glorious action of creativity to drag this thing home. So just so conveniently, we have this lovely length of three and a half inch pipe that's really really thick almost a half inch and Herman was so kind to give us some help uh, putting some holes in it that are hopefully you know all nice and square that have a factory feel being out in the middle of the pipe because we're gonna try to put one of the holes through here to hold it in oh, I already got the nut loose we gotta figure out how to get the bolt out oh you got it please. yeah it's a three-quarters bolt um, obviously the pipe fits, but it's only to here, and I've got two options for holes. One hole is only yay far from the end, and the other one is a little over a foot to try to get it in farther into the frame, which I think we can do. We just, uh, you know, got to deal with a little bit of rust and age. Had to sit there and bump the rear axle pivot back in, just because, you know, moving forward, this was pulled back. So we got to pop that out of there real quick. There's no straw walkers. <laughs> well, I mean, there's two left, but uh, I mean, they're gone. Um, it's a parts machine. I was told it ran when parked and it blew a hydraulic line on the way home after they bought it. And well, right up there almost to the truck is where it sat. But it's got fantastic rice tires, which there was a set that sold here that went on a running F2. Um, that didn't bring much less than this whole getup. So buy some tires, get a bunch of metal free. That tire's not much to ride home about, but the other one's pretty good. Which I guess that brings on the thing, we get this thing home if anybody needs Gleaner F2 parts. Um, I might have some. Just don't hold your breath on the drive line down low. <laughs> um, so yeah, that does beg the question. I'm using the camera now. I'm filming. So I did find the footage of putting the husking bed on the Unisystem. Because <laughs> I found the camera. I'd left it sort of outside. In a spot that I would see more in the summer when we're dealing with vegetables. Than I would right now. Okay, sounds like the pin came out the top. So yes, the good news is we can see the husking bed. Or we will have already seen it by the time this gets put out. Are we ready to slide our pipe in? Yeah. Okay, now we lined up all the holes, sort of. The first one down there is the best one. Uh, we kind of burned out the drill bit. We drilled them to 13 16 You hitting it? Well, we don't have to do that one. There's another set about a foot back. All right. And I think... All right. Uh, hang on, hang on. I'm getting running out of... You might be too far. Oh, uh, can you see? We can't see. Here, use the punch, because that'll fit, if it's not perfect, to get started. Anything? That's probably too much. Yeah. Go the other way? Yeah. I didn't measure, I just kind of guessed. Most of the only thing I was worried about was pipe diameter. Okay, we're running out of... There's too much stuff in the bottom. I don't know. I guess we could Pull lay it. A, I got a tape. Pull it out. We'll measure and see how. Yeah, I'll see how close we are. Actually, we guessed pretty good on the spot of the hole. There should be about a half inch extra length. And we just had a bunch of schmutz lay in there. I hope I got enough of it out. Using a crowbar isn't necessarily the best reaching tool. 
So we got at least one good rat's nest now. Oh, yeah, the weight's right here in our pipe. That's the first. Okay, right there. It's not a bad length. Did it go through? Did it, I think so. Close-ish. It's not bad. I knocked the washer off the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a block. A little square washer. Oh. That, to hold it from falling out. There's was there one on the top. Yeah, there's a lock washer. Yeah, that was on the bottom. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's pretty good. Now it helps. We drilled these out to 13 16 because that's the drill that Herman had. Uh, so that's what we did. Because, which is good. It gives us some play. This doesn't have to make it a million miles. Just 25. Where's the nut? Oh, it's over here in the grass. Over there? Yeah, over here. Way over there. Oh, I guess. I don't remember. Maybe I put it over there. No, it flew off over there. Okay. Guess we'll tighten it, make ourselves feel good. Is it spinning? I'm holding it. Okay. I mean, it came off fairly easy. I'll tell you when I have trouble holding it. Oh, yes. Not for free advertising, but actually a, something useful for these Ninja Ice Gloves. They're soft, they're fuzzy, they're not leather, but you give pretty good dexterity for doing stuff in the cold. You're not holding it, are you? Uh, it's starting to turn on me now. Okay. You want the other wrench? Yeah, I'll see if I can get in there and hold it better with the wrench. Yeah, they're uh, kind of a rubber dip glove, but not. You can't just put your hand in a water trough super deep, but you can get your fingers wet, deal with chicken waters. Uh, I'm not getting with this in... shield here. I can't get down in there. Did you, you, is the sockets and stuff still out here? No, I put it back. Oh. Okay. But I don't know that I can get it on with a socket. You don't think so? Huh. Well, yeah, most of the threads are on there.
already. Well, I think we're almost ready to roll out. Tractor is loaded, strapped down, tools are picked up. Combine is attached, thanks to gravity. We have our safety flashing. Oh, and to make sure we're extra safe, we got a triangle. I think it means we're ready to roll. Um, our feeder house should be okay. It's off the ground enough. Plus the tires are sinking in, so once we get on the pavement, we'll be okay. Um, I've already tried. It doesn't seem like the axle wants to go anywhere. Like I thought it may want to twist, but it is not. So I guess let's hit the road before it gets too terribly dark, because, you know, short days. I don't know if you can see the mirror. We're trying to get out of here. Making the turn. If we look low... I don't know, I'm taking the turn wide because I know we're long. I'm assuming we're not hitting the ramps or anything. Dad's out there watching, can't hear him yelling, so I guess we didn't break anything too bad. Well, they weren't over the hill fast enough over there. Here we go, getting out of here. We've made it at least three, maybe four miles down the road to the a, a local stockyard, which is immediately down the street from this farm we bought this. Um, pipe looks straight enough. Not much we're gonna do about it anyways, but it's not bending a bunch. Running these guys backwards. Of course, on the gravel, we can't really see how they're wearing. Plus, we haven't gone far enough yet. A uh, big thing is we hope uh, we need to get in here and look in the darkness. Let's see if we feel. Oh, brakes aren't warm. That's not warm. So I guess at least the final drives are doing okay, and the transmission's hidden way in the middle there. Um, lights are still flashing. And the sun has probably gone down. So unless anything goes wrong, we'll catch you guys at home and take a look-see at this mess in the morning. 20 miles to go. Well, we're in the driveway. We made it home. Guess the tires held together. Nothing fell apart. The pipe looks straight enough. It didn't bend drastically. Tractor stayed on. And do we run out of reach here? No. No. I just... Yeah, we're starting to take the weight off. Oh, this is going to be the only problem is that we lift it crooked for getting that pin out of there. Hang on, let it down a little bit. We may have to pull that pin, pin out pin. and just pull away. Yeah. Or can we pull it out now? Yeah. Maybe not right now, but... It's loose right now. Okay. You have some weight on the jack. Yeah, I have some weight on the jack. All right, I just don't want to slide off. Yeah. That'd be helpful. Oh. <sighs> Need a hand. It's coming. Okay. It's got a couple ridges in it. There. Yeah, that's the only problem of a floor roller jack is now you're lifting on a radius. Oh. Yeah. We got enough weight off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're fine. Okay, we can pull away now. <laughs> this is not as heavy as I thought it was, at least not on the back half. 
Well, we'll end this video by putting the uh, combine in a temporary resting spot where I have easy access to get the parts off that I need. Um, and then we'll see what happens to it. Whether somebody needs it for parts or if it need, if it ends up being made into Chinesium. Hopefully not Chinesium. I really hope somebody needs parts off of it instead. Don't want any more Chinesium, that's for sure. If I had known the back of this was this light, I would have just taken a tractor out there. Now, we can watch the three-point arms kind of bend on this. Uh, well, I wouldn't do it with this tractor. But uh, this, the 2910 here was free, so I took it out. Now the, 29, or the 2810 has heavier duty three-point arms, because we put on category two arms that were bigger and heavier than these little one inch, or category one arms, uh, for when we had an old New Holland 707 silage chopper, because these arms are a little flimsy. And that chopper had, had a lot of sideways draft and twist. Ugh, but every time that thing kind of rocks around, I'm afraid we're just gonna break off an arm, but I guess this steel is kind of springy for that side to side movement. And plus it's a little light, like if I'm, it's a little greasy, the steering isn't the greatest, but the wheels are on the ground still. And we gotta watch where we're going back here, make sure I park this on the concrete where I want it, because I'll be taking axle parts off. It looks pretty good from here. We can see through the front tire, there's some concrete. Oh, we gotta make it up the step. Like if I'd taken the 6610 out, even like the 1086, you know, any tractor really, probably would have been enough. Um, I, mean, I wouldn't need much more weight, uh, but we are here. Yeah, I think I'm on the concrete well enough. It's just nice to lay on and have some saw to put a jack and whatnot on. I think we're just gonna set the back on blocks here. I think I'm on far enough for my needs. What do you think? I got room to get a jack underneath. I don't plan on being underneath the back for anything. Okay. So. Well, far enough out of the way for them, so. Yep. Well. I'll wrap this up. This has been a fun farming adventure and I'll catch you guys as I start uh, Robin Hooding parts.